<laughs> Hello everybody, this is JR Chunks 21 doing a Fallout 4 video. We have three co-hosts today. We have Chloe the dog, as many of you know. We have my niece Vicky, a two-year-old who you know sometimes she's a pain in the butt. And today we have our me the the family's resident medical expert of how many years? Twenty-three. Twenty-three years. The RN Susan Lehman. So, I don't use my last name. Okay. Susan Lehman. So, she will be providing us medical testimony to explain who's dead, who's not, and probably freak out because she has never seen Nick Valentine. So, we're going to get into this. How long have you been a nurse? 23 years. 23 years. How long did it take you to get your RN? Five years. Five years. What do you do in the hospital? Or, like, what is your primary job in it? Save lives, take care of sick people. And try not to hit people with frying pans. Or suffocate them with pillows. <laughs> <laughs> and you all wonder where I get my sense of humor from. So, we're going to get started here. And as many of you know, we are at the part of this where we save Nick Valentine's life. So, we're going to get started here. Uh, now, she has never... I don't believe she's played many video games past the Pac-Man series or the Mario series. Maybe. I didn't even play those. <laughs> so, she's not familiar with the first-person shooter genre. But, we're going to get started here... Uh, if you guys have any questions, or if you like her as a co-host, leave a comment. If we get enough comments and likes, I'll bring her back for another video. It'd be a lot easier than getting my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, her job is, you know, I haven't really decided. I'm pretty sure we know when the enemies are dead being, they tend to blow up into a bloody mess. But, yeah, it might be nice to not, for her to testify on how badly how bad he is at uh, hygiene. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna come over here and visit uh, our little friends over here at Valentine's Detective Agency. And I just realized I don't have the camera turned around. <laughs> oh, we forget things, we forget things. Um, what? Manual. Only what? Hallelujah, you got four. And my niece loves to hoard candy. Well, it explains how she's related no to us. No more. So, we've got... We're going to do this for about 30 minutes because... Miss Layman is a very busy woman. This is her first day off in, what, seven days? Yes. This is yes. her first day off in seven days. Wow. Come here, Vicky. Hey, Vicky, you want to go up here to your red pillow? Go over there to your red pillow. Go over there to your red pillow. So, there you go. Uh, this is her first day off in seven days. So she's not a so her idea of a her idea of a fun day would be what sleeping all day. Sleeping, yes. Yes. Okay. So here is Miss Ellie Perkins, detective secretary. I'll never find another job. Another coming in from the rain. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, Miss. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective has gone missing. My favorite response. Your own time? If only it was that simple, right? <laughs> Nick disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. Oh, There's give me some candy? There they use as a base. Thank you. He told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. <laughs> so, being this is supposed to be my good guy character, I'm not going to extort her for money. I'm a nice guy. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. What we call a dick's outfit. Okay, so... 
Our job now is to go and save Nick. As you can see, we don't have much weaponry compared to what I prefer to do with this mission with. So, this is going to be one of my typical improvise adapt number cup. And Vicky knocked over the camera. Hey, Vicky. Come here. Come here. Whee! <laughs> go over here to Nini, okay? Go, go be with Nini. So, we're going to get started here. Uh, I'm sorry for the camera lag and the eye. There we go. Now we don't have the glare on the TV, which is why I usually shoot at night. So, I am going to skip the whole... No! Vicky. Victoria Lynn. I'm going to remove one of my co-hosts, because she I think she wants her mommy and her daddy. Come on, Vicky. Uh, I'll be out in a minute, Vicky. My other co-host will do some testimony. Well, I do think that this Nick guy will uh, probably be found. Oh! Now, whether he's harmed or not, and the seriousness will unfold shortly, I hope. And I hope he doesn't have to have major surgery. Yes, because the Commonwealth is not known for its medical procedures. Uh, I think what they need is a Susan Lehman in the Commonwealth. But As you can see, as many of you remember, we use the cheat terminal to add mark markers, which is going to be really useful so we don't have to deal with Swan. I really don't think Mom wants to see anything that ugly today. I think she's seen enough of that in her career. No joke. Pretty ugly. So, we're going to try to avoid having Mom see a super mutant behemoth today. She's going to run into one at some point during this mission, but... Well, maybe not this one, but another one. So, we're going to get started. Uh, this is her first experience with Fallout. She usually looks at me pretty weird, especially when I tried to describe to her that Jet is a drug. She did not know what I was talking about, so... She's, uh... <laughs> I got enough drugs to worry about. I don't need any more. <laughs> yes, we just we got done watching the special about fentanyl going on in the world right now. So let's see if we can get a view of Swan's Pond here. Just because I like to get a view of it. So there's Swan's Pond, as many of you already are aware. We am not going to mess with that because I really don't want to get hit upside the head with an anchor today. We've got our good friend Dogmeat helping us out, so he's probably going to trip some of my bombs, trip some of the trip wires I've got, they've got set up here, which is going to be bad. As many of you know, this character is meant to be more stealthy than anything. So. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone the weak. Caught that detective snooping around him. What does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let us snoop. So we're hearing the Trigger Man talk. I'm gonna go with a... Girl, you know that. I'm gonna go Just start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. Okay. Not a little, not a little bit. Fire the balls! <laughs> Okay, I think that's a little bit of overkill there. Get him, dog meat! So, uh, as you heard, my mom thinks they're definitely dead in this one. Ah. No, we lost. Okay, if you want to play that game, nothing a shotgun will fix. That is why she is here. She is here to tell us that they are dead, even though we probably already know that just by looking at them. Uh, dog I think meats? you can tell that by how many bullets you shot into them. I only put maybe 12. No, I only have 8 rounds. Where's that white Xbox here, John? There is no white one. There's the Whichever one. one Tyler used the other day when I okay. left the light. Uh, you are hearing my sister talk in the background. Uh, so, she can come in here and put her head in front of this camera. There she is. Okay. Okay. Take 
Come here, Vicky. We're gonna go watch a movie. <laughs> Your TV won't black. Yeah, I know. Uh, it does that. It's sleep mode. Uh, so we are getting started here. You saw another member of my very fun family. We're gonna loot these caps, cause. Spoiler alert, in the future when nuclear war happens, bottle caps are the currency. So start saving bottle caps. Okay. <laughs> uh, you guys couldn't see it, but she just gave us that weird look. It's because uh, in the Fallout universe, bottle caps can't be duplicated easily. Okay. The plastic ones or the old metal ones? The metal ones. They diverged during the Cold War. Fallout's history diverged uh, during the Cold War. So you don't see many bottle cap can't metal ones. Yeah. So as you can see, we've got to go down here further into the subway and deal with these guys. I'm not letting mom take in the take the controller because we probably see about a hundred deaths. She's not exactly a first person shooter person. I don't think she even does video games, so Stealth mode. Huh? Oh, wait, And in the void we go. I'm alone can have my guts. I don't have anything in them. One issue with the sawn off Mossberg, it is very slow to reload with this mod. Oh, wow. I am almost dead. So we're going to take a couple stem packs to heal ourselves. My VAT's accuracy is crap. This is why we have mods, boys. Because having mods is just really good. That's what I was talking about. He's a bloody mess. He, There's nothing left of him. Well, there's chunks. And that's my channel name! I don't know. Cue up a bell. Well, that guy might be able to be saved. He's at least got all his parts together. They're dead, Mom. They're not being saved here. These people are dead. Yeah, they... There's always miracles. Yeah, there is super stem packs. There's also FEV. Pizza! I guess these guys don't like Papa John's. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Ugh! I'm gonna switch this. And my niece has figured out how to move a trash can around, or a chair around to try to get into the ha into the bedroom. So I'm gonna switch over to our Benelli M3 shotgun. Our trusty Benelli. Just because I think it'll be a lot faster to reload than what I'm currently using. We're not gonna bother with stealth, they already know we're coming, so we're just gonna come around here and we're just gonna start dealing with threats. Don't get up. I said don't get up. Now that is overkill. Yeah, because he's already dead and you just shot him again. No, I looted him. I looted his corpse. They've got ammo, so I'm moving their corpses. I'm gonna switch to our CQB weapon of choice, the 1911. Ah, Vault Tech. These are the people I was telling you about that stranded a man in a vault with just puppets. Oh, wow, aren't they nice? I like the one where the man gets stuck in a vault with 999 women. And then there's. I'd rather have <laughs> 999 men stuck in a hole with me. They did the direct opposite. They did right. that. Voltec is crazy as can be. Uh, 
I will bring mother back. I will bring my mom back for the Malden Middle School special, as many of you know what they do for that one, which is uh, the vault underneath the middle school where they. Well, it's a hot button for mom. Okay. It deals with children, of course. You really shouldn't have left school, boys. Now you can blame me for using too much ammo. And I'm over in comfort. Uh, I need to drop something. Don't need that many. Eventually, you There we go. Fight the dance. Oh. Well, I should have went toe to toe with you. Nice baseball bat. So, we're getting further along into this. I'm going to switch to our shotgun. So, I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a hole on the subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Well, at least they have a job. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what's hilarious, guys, is mom doesn't even know what a ghoul is. So a little bit of information just for you to know. Uh, I'm this just saying they got a job. During this, uh, we're in the year 2277 right now in this game. Okay. Uh, we were frozen for 200 years in the year 2077. Our path between this history and the Fallout universe diverged in, a, what was it, 1940s, 1950s, I think? You guys can leave it in the comments. I'm not honored on that. 100% sure on that. So, these guys right here, they're not human. They are ghouls. So, think zombies, but they're still, they've got all their faculties. They're very ugly, and I'll show you an example of one later. Come on, guys. There's no reason to be hostile. I'm just here to save the dick. I really wish they wouldn't have made it that Nick. They wouldn't have called Nick Valentine that. Okay, so. Go stealth for this. Um, get him, dog me. I'll deal with us. Go get him, dog me. So we don't have the perk where dog meat holds the guy after he attacks him. Stinks, because I actually really like that perk. Hey, don't flank me. Okay, I'm not looting him. Not looting him. He's dead. Ooh, bobby pin. Now I can start picking locks. My character in this game is definitely smarter than I am in real life, because I do not know how to pick locks with bobby pins. Apparently my character does. No, but you know how to open bedroom doors with a hanger. <laughs> hey, you, how about you tell them the story of how your daughter broke out of the house? let her join in or something, because this is ridiculous. She wants nobody but mom. Come here. Come see me. Oh, poo. So, character died. No, you don't want Nini, you want the candy. So, we had a minor death accident, even though I have God Mode enabled. Bethesda, what is going on with your games? That is the weirdest... No, wait. I have a weirder glitch that I have on my phone. So, we're going to have to go back through this whole process. Thank you. Let's do a quick level up here. Um, oh, she wants to give you a piece of candy. There you go. Okay, give it here. Let's right upgrade. Sit right here. We're going to upgrade our gunslinger. Sit right there. Yep, here. Sit right here so I can watch the show. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Set him on fire. No, sit right here. Sit right here. John will get some in a minute. Right now, John's busy shooting people. Again. Ah, uh, Bethesda, uh, you never cease to enjoy. I never cease to enjoy the games. Okay. We're going to make sure right now that we get this good table. Okay, hand it here. Thank you, Vicky. Uh -huh. uh -oh. John took some, didn't he? Okay. So we're gonna give ourselves another mod or another cheat. I don't feel like dying a hundred times over. I don't feel like dying one time over. Of course you wouldn't. So we've got we have now enabled one shot kills. <laughs> Because that's wrong. Come all... back up here. Nope. Nope. Come back up here with Nini. Vicky. Here, right sit here. behind Nini. Here. Here, sit right there. Nini, you can go up there to the top of the bed, too. This way she'll stay up there. Oh, no. Come here. Yeah, the camera's upset. Victoria. There we go. Becky, what are you doing? We'll sit right up here with the pillow. Hey, lay down. Bed, bed, bed. Ah. Come here. So, we've got eight minutes to find and save Nick. We're going to get that dog. Doug needs eager to get into the ball. I'm eager to get into the ball. John when he goes to school. Dad. Dad. I just beat him to death. Oh, I, didn't. Yeah. I wasn't going to put up with any of that. Okay. Let's get started here, boys. I'm going to wrap this up as quick as possible. So I got a question. Why do you know So we're going to let mom see what the our little ghoul friends look like here. No, but they got a lot of blood. Well, they do Dad. still have working Dad. blood vessels. Dad. Dad. There we Dad. go. Dad. Dad. That's a ghoul. Dad. Looks just like a human. <laughs> Are you not seeing the wrinkly skin that looks like he's about 300 years old? Well, haven't you seen elderly people? Mm. There's some people that have been really big and then got really small. They have lots of Or in ghoul's cases, some of them just do a lot of drugs. Oh. They look pretty bad too. Eat it, nerds! No, leave the camera alone. John Ross. That's it. Sit tight. Come on. Take her to daddy. And I apologize. I am back. We're going to wrap this up as fast as possible. Wrap the ammo. Alright, we're done. They don't have anything else. It's not like they have anything useful to me. No one invited you to this party. You hit my dog. 
Shouldn't have done that. That dog is the best damn dog I've ever seen. And mind you, I have a dog. Everywhere to go. Don't they come upstairs just to fuck with me? So we are now entering Vault. Vault Tech is a very interesting company. And my camera's offset. Again. There we go. Ah, sorry about that, guys. I'll be more careful when choosing my co-hosts. Or at the very least, I'll get a better setup. I'm sure mom, who is a very big activist for gun, for gun control and whatnot, How you doing in there, Valentine? is very curious yeah. on why I'm just leaving guns lie around on the floor as I walk. There's no people there. There will be. Hungry? Keep talking, Meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Damn, I'm good with iron sights. Okay, but I gotta do this terminal. Oh, hang on, Nick. It's telling me I need to take a number. Damn. 998. Well, I'm not coming back for another year. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, so we're opening the door. And this is where Mom's probably going to be wondering what the hell this is. So there is our friend Nick Valentine. Ah, uh, my knight in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Your, your thoughts? I thought he was a ghoul. No, he's a synth. He's a what? A synth. Synthetic human. Okay. Machines that are meant to be like humans. Okay, well he looks Life just like a ghoul. Well, he's, he's going to die smoking. He's a machine, Mom. He can't die like that. Uh, we're gonna go with the obvious one. Sean is missing. Look at that badass. Look at that sexy he was face. Kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, he came to the right man, not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. She's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's. I will most definitely not be trying to save Skinny Malone and his do and his little flame. I'm just going to put them all out of their misery. Because they're monsters, and I don't like monsters. Of course not. Uh, a good friend of mine, Oxhorn, has already done the lore on this video, on this vault, so... Yeah, Oxhorn has already done a video on this. Nick, get your ass over here. Uh, uh, Oxford has already done the lore on Vault 114, so I'm not going to step on his toes and do the lore for this. Go check out his channel. He's a good guy. There you got a nice beard. I'm jealous. If you guys have seen any photos of me, I don't have a very good facial hair record. I'm like Nick. I've got a very smooth face. I was made in the factory. Hmm. I'm sorry, did I shoot you? Soundingly awesome tales. Of course, we gotta have them comic books. I gotta have something to read on the weekends. Why? Wow, you panties afraid of your own 
No, but they're afraid of me. They won't underestimate me. No one cares about you, Nick. That's why your secretary was going to close down shop. <laughs> I love I'd Nick. I'd never be able to make it through those stairs. <laughs> I love Nick. I don't think we're... I'm not exactly a friendly person. I don't get along with most of these things. Get him alone and the rest of his boys are waiting for him. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. How dangerous are we talking about here? Is he actually going to be fun? Because I like fun challenges. Another locked door. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Stop being a polyandra. Let's go. I want to kill these guys. My character does not like skinning hey, alone. What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? you have any idea how much this is going to set me back? I like a chick who can wield a baseball bat. You're too timing game, Skinny. Not to tell her to write home more often. So we're going to get this done and over with. Point blank range, shotgun blast, uh, all of these guys are just going to solve the issue real quick. Wow. That's how we do things in my neighborhood. And we are done. We're going to stop right here because we have now stopped Skinny Malone. We've saved Nick. Your thoughts on Fallout and this whole situation. We've done a lot of doggone killing and there's some mighty good blood going to waste there. So, you'd like to transfuse blood that is severely irradiated? That's better than no blood at all, I guess. That is your medical opinion. So, as many of you guys have seen, this is our co-host. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on the video, subscribe, comment, Follow on Twitter. There will be a photo uploaded of me and my co-hosts. As always, keep on... I don't know. I don't have a good outtake yet, so just... Keep shooting people so I have a job. The channel of JR Chunks 21 does not condone gun violence. Have a good day.